Hi, Brian from the Springworks again. A lot of you know that we do leaf springs on trucks, but we also can take care of your leaf springs on your vehicles if you want to take them off and bring them in. Sometimes when you're fine tuning your ride height on your hot rod or your 4x4, you put them on, you kind of mock it up, and then you want to go ahead and maybe change that overall stance of the vehicle. So what we're doing today on these is we're going to take this set of leaf springs that a gentleman brought in off of his Jeep. He's going down a tire size, so he wants to lower the center of gravity. So we're actually going to take these springs here. We're going to de-arch them. We're actually going to take them down two inches to reduce his overall height, give him a better stance, give him a lower center of gravity. We're going to start with taking these springs down two inches to lower the gentleman's ride height on his Jeep. And how we start the process with that is first, we lay it out on our fab table, and we're actually going to measure the amount of free arch that the spring has in it now. So we're gonna measure this spring. Right now we're at five and five eighths inches. So we're gonna take it down to three and five eighths uh, to get it to the correct ride height for what he wants. So we're gonna do that by taking the spring uh, completely apart, getting it down to individual leaves, and then we will actually start bending those. So we're gonna take each individual spring after we've wire brushed it up and cleaned it, get rid of any dirt and debris, because if there's any rocks or anything on it, it's gonna crush it in the press. So we're actually gonna take this spring, we're gonna put it in our arching head, and we're actually going to be bending the leaf in three to four inch increments all the way through the process. So we're gonna take every spring that we have, and we're actually going to be bending the spring um, every three to four inches throughout the cycle. And we're just going to go in and out, in kind of in a rhythm, you kind of get your rhythm set up and this is going to take the arch out of the spring without heating it, without adjusting the temper in the spring, so it'll be the same strength. So what we've done is we've gone through each individual spring and we've actually taken arch out of the leaves to flatten them to lower the vehicle. So what I like to do, I've gone through all of them one time, and I'm gonna uh, put them all together, and then we're gonna check our height measurement again. You can see the uniform radius all the way through, and the de-arch spring here that we've reduced down by just a little over two inches uh, to reduce the ride height. So if you can keep it nice and flat in the U-bolt area, but we still have a nice generalized curve all the way through it. Okay. We finished our second spring, completed it as we did the first, went through, de-arched it down so we can drop the center of gravity on this rig. Uh, made them both exactly the same, the vehicle sat level. That does bring up a good point. If you have a vehicle that sits crooked off to one side, if we measure it before the springs come off, we can correct for the height discrepancy. A lot of vehicles will sit lower, especially if it's an older rig, it'll sit lower on one side. This one in particular sat level, so we just did them both exactly the same. We'll get these finished painted and then get them back to the customer so they can get them put on his rig. If you have any other questions about spring rearching, make sure to give us a call down here at the Springworks. I'm Brian, we'll catch up with you on another segment. <laughs>